What's up, crypto heads? John Bro here from Crypto Dreams. This is the place to be to learn about NFTs. Welcome back. Happy to have you here. Today, we are looking at the brand new My Cloud Wallet. This is the new and improved Wax Cloud Wallet. It is really nice, really interactive. There's a lot of great improvements. We're going to be going over everything that is going on with the My Cloud Wallet. Before I begin, if you are feeling the content on this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It helps my channel out greatly, and it is much appreciated. All right, let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to keep this one real simple, real straight to the point, and just break down how the new cloud wallet works. So a lot of things are very similar to the other Wax Cloud wallet. If we look over here to the left, we can see the dashboard, NFTs, dApps, staking rewards, NFT bridge, token bridge, and settings. We're gonna look at all of that. You can also adjust dark mode or light mode. I prefer the dark, so that's where I'm at. You can see your wax tokens right up here on top, as well as your resources. These are my network resources. You can see my CPU, my net, and my RAM. I'm gonna explain how you can add all of these to your wallet. Very important feature of Wax and how the Wax ecosystem works. You need all three of these in order to interact with games, dApps, and other various things on the Wax blockchain. One really awesome improvement that they have made is you no longer need to pay five Wax up front to get a cloud wallet. You can start one for free and you will not have to pay the five Wax until you make your first interaction with the blockchain. So this is great. This is going to help with onboarding people. I love that they added this. So no, if you are watching this and you are new to Wax, you can start up a cloud wallet for free. You do not have to pay anything. Once you do begin interacting with the Wax blockchain, you will need to pay five Wax. Currently, that's probably 40 cents. So very, very reasonable. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So just like on the old Wax Cloud wallet, you can see your tokens right here, right when you get in. You are going to see Wax. If you are just setting up a wallet, that's the only token you will see here. All of these other tokens you are seeing, I manually added these to my wallet. These are all projects I've been part of in the past or am still currently part of. All of these projects are games that I still play and support. I have several others as well. And if you are wanting to add a token to the Wax Cloud Wallet, you're going to want to hit right here this refresh list or import tokens. It's going to bring up add custom token. If you want to add a token, you will need most of this. You'll need token symbol, decimal places, and token contract. Token name and token image are not totally necessary. I would recommend them. That way you know what tokens you're looking at, but you will need these three right here for sure to add a token to your cloud wallet. If we continue scrolling down, we're gonna see trending dApps. I really love how clean everything is now. It's so smooth. It's much improved from the old wallet. You can see your trending dApps right here. And see what is hot. All of the marketplaces are doing well as usual. Got Atomic Hub, NFT Blocks, NFT Hive. You got Viral Marketplace. That's the Wax NFT Marketplace. 
You can view all if you choose, just click on view all. You can look at hot NFTs. Colonize Mars just launched their game, so it is super hot. It's the hottest thing right now. It's going off for Colonize Mars. But Alien Worlds is here. Funko, always hot. So really cool that you can see that. Again, you can scroll or you can view all and get the list of what is hot. You can see all the news right here. Absolutely love this. NFT bridge that just launched really, really great. That's huge. Antelope upgrade just happened. So really great. You could see all of this right here, right in front of you. I absolutely love how clean it is and how well it is set up. If you want to send some tokens, you can send right there. If you want to receive tokens right there. And if you want to buy some wax tokens, you can click on that and it's going to give you various options. It's going to show you exchanges that you can buy those tokens at or other routes that you can take. So that's what you're going to see on the main screen right there. So let's go ahead and dive a little deeper. We're going to take a look at our NFTs now. So here are my NFTs. Some of them are not quite showing up as well as others. So picks first, for example, you don't see your NFT unless you actually put your cursor on the NFT itself. But there are my picks first NFTs. I got my taco stand. So you're going to be able to view all your NFTs here. You can view all your collections. So if I want to search a specific collection, I can do that. So if I want to look at on Mars, here's my on Mars NFTs. You can sort by oldest, mint number, newest. You can sort those like that. Simple assets or atomic assets. And then you can also search by name as well. So for example, if we have all collections and I want to search, uh, say zombie some of my zombie coin right here these are my zombie coin nfts and then i have some other zombies as well so that is how you will be able to search your nfts with the new cloud wallet basically identical to the old wax cloud wallet so next we're going to have daps really love how clean this looks Again, it's going to show your trending just like on the home screen, but then you can look more in detail at all of these dApps. So that's where you're going to find your dApps. So next we'll look at staking rewards in this screen. I can see how many tokens that I have staked. I have 770 wax P staked. I can stake an amount here as well. So if you want to stake some wax for CPU, for example, you're going to input how much you want to stake, and then you're going to stake that. If you want to stake net, same thing. You can stake it there as well. And then RAM also. You will need to stake all of these in order to navigate and play games and interact with dApps on the wax blockchain so very important if you are new to wax you must do this this is where you're going to do it you can also click on the resource tab here and hit stake wax so if i want to stake more cpu for example which i actually do i'm going to go ahead and type in the amount that i want and hit stake you will have to sign a transaction and approve it so I have now staked more wax that's gonna give me more CPU net functions the same if you want to stake for net you can do that by doing the exact same thing transaction success so I now staked more net 
RAM is a bit different. When you're wanting to get RAM, you have to buy RAM. So you will actually have to spend wax to get RAM. You don't have to spend a lot. I probably only spent 10 to 15 wax in total for RAM in all my time on wax. And I've been on the wax blockchain for over two years now. Not expensive. This is wax. This is how wax avoids fees. You do not have to pay fees on wax. Wax is absolutely amazing. They solved this problem a long time ago. They were way ahead of the curve. Fees have always been an issue with interacting with blockchains for gaming and buying NFTs, Ethereum especially. Huge, massive, insane fees, which I experienced myself in the past. Wax solved that problem a long time ago, and this is how they solved it. So if you're staking CPU, you do not lose the wax that you stake. You're staking it. You will get that wax back. You do not lose it. It takes a few days for you to claim it and for it to go back in your wallet. But know that if you are new to the Wax blockchain, you're just staking your Wax to get CPU and to get net. But RAM, you will need to spend Wax to get that. But very, very reasonable. That is how they avoid gas fees. Amazing, amazing. Next, you can see claimable amount. So I have Wax that I can claim. I earn this Wax for staking for voting rights. So that is something you can also do. You want to select your proxy and vote, and then you will be eligible to claim tokens. But that is where you will set everything up so you can get all your resources in place. You can do that at the staking rewards or by clicking resource right up here next to your wax P. All right, next thing we are gonna look at is the NFT bridge. This is a brand new integration to the cloud wallet. This is a Medium article they just put out on April 5th about the NFT bridge. This is huge, a real big deal. I will put a link to the Wax Medium in the description below. But this is fantastic. You can interact with both Ethereum and Binance. So you will just select Wax and then whatever other blockchain you want to bridge with. So we have Ethereum here, and then we want to bridge our NFTs from Wax to Ethereum. So in order to do this, you will have to connect another wallet, either MetaMask, or you can use Wallet Connect. So very, very big. This is huge. This is interoperability right here. This is right in the cloud wallet super easy, super simple to use. It can be a bit complicated to understand at first if you're new to blockchain. I won't go into detail about how all of this works, but this is huge. This is massive. This is a big, big step forward for WAX. Next, we're gonna look at the token bridge. Similar concept to the NFT bridge. Again, you will have to connect a wallet same wallets that you can interact with right there and you will have assets so from wax p to wherever else you want to go you can use busd weath usdt so very very cool similar concept you can also claim tokens i'm assuming this is if you have something staked on another chain or on wax you can also buy Wax E on Uniswap here. So really great that this is right in the wallet, simple to use. Lastly, you're gonna have settings. This is where you can set up account security, basic information, wallet settings, developer settings if you're a developer, or if you want to create a new account. So this is where you will do all of that in your settings. Cloud Wallet is a big step up for Wax. Not having to pay a cost up front. Really smart move from Wax. Absolutely love it. 
Everything looks really, really good. Super, super clean. Really easy to use. Really easy to interact with. You can find all your news, all your NFTs. Love, love it. Clean.